Hello, and welcome to or welcome back to the channel. And today we have someone Mega Crafter. Uh, so welcome to the demo version of Mega Crafter. In the demo, you can play Biome 1, beginning of Grasslands, just to come to the world of Mega Crafter, beginning full version of Biomes, right? Um, so I actually reached out to the dev team, and uh, they sent me a key for it. Uh, we, we had, a, uh, there was an embargo. They didn't want us to uh, update anything until today. Uh, which is fine. I, I, I was confused by it because it seems like I have the same demo that was on Steam that was available. Um, but neither here nor there. Uh, so we're just going to make a new a new character here. Uh, okay. create a, I want to create a new world. We'll make a YouTube world here. So we'll go ahead and create this guy here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and go single. Uh, so this game... Me and me and Pete tried it a little bit yesterday, just trying to see the multiplayer versions of it. Uh, I will say that we jumped in and were able to be in multiplayer very quickly. I was very su surprised by it, um, but it left me with. And I understand it's just a demo. It's it's trying to get started. Uh, oh, I've started with a lot of stuff. Okay, uh, so my character has brought all my stuff in it. Uh, so uh, this is kind of weird. Like if I hold down, I think if I hold down shift, it will move it. But if I do this, like it, it like takes stuff out of my inventory and puts it up here. It's, it's weird. Um, so there, there's some, some issues with the game trying to get to, to do things right and do things. It's, it's kind of weird and, and iffy. Uh, when you level up, you obtain points to allocate skills, hit T to the tablet to go put my skills in. Um, and then like, this is, uh, it's like, okay, so I'll, that's fine. Let me close that. And then, like, oh, I want to get... Oh, well, okay, well, I can't do that. Project Manager, you can enter the world. Press R, you can hear me, right? So this is basically starts in. So I've broken it because I, I made a, another character. I've gotten into it a little bit. Um, I, I, would like for you, I would like for you to stop now. Okay, nope, okay. All right. So basically, they want me to build a, a, build a building up here. Uh, I'm going to just ignore them. We're going to go off on our own here for a minute. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. We'll put down a, a building here. Uh, that will allow us to start this guy out. Uh, I can go in here. I can summon these guys. So I can summon summon a little helper dude. I have my, my little helper dude back here. So now you can do a couple of things with your, your buddy here. Uh, you can choose this. And right now I have him set up. So uh, he searches for a tree and will attack it until it's broken. Uh, then he searches for a rock and attacks until broken. Uh, now you can do a little bit of stuff in here. Um, like I can do uh, try if try if it fails, right? We can do this like this instead. We can do try like try if that if that fails, uh, then we can. Um, then we can try to find a rock, right? Uh, we can try to do the pickup thing. Uh, then that works. So we can get rid of that, right? So basically this will do this. Uh, and then if I want, I should be able to put a loop in here like this. I should take this whole thing and put that inside of there, right? So now if I do that, I hit play on him. What he's going to do is he's going to, as soon as he gets a tree in range... He should run over and start beating the crap out of it for me. So we can do that. He'll start beating the crap out of that. That's all great. And then he will do that. And what he's going to do is he's going to search. If there's a tree in range, he's going to beat that up. If there's a, if there's a uh, a rock in range, he'll pick. He'll beat that up. It'll be great. It'll be lots of fun. Now if I go back up here to this guy, I need to build more 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 uh, city here or more town so the town has to be built like this so that you can well then I can build out this way if I wanted to and then build it across um, but you can't build on anything that doesn't have this like concrete stuff under it uh, it's just unfortunately the way it works And we can do this like this, that we have these guys here like this. And then I can go back over here close to this guy and he'll go start chopping trees down for me again. Um, 
So the game is a you know normal survival builder game, uh, and if I wanted to, I could actually help him chop down trees. Just and the trees fall down and and you know build stuff. Now I will say the game seems to be very early. Uh, like I said, it is a demo, uh, so I can't I can't I don't want to you know oh well you know well this stuff isn't in here uh, because that's not fair to it. Um, so the issue is, is that there are, it doesn't seem to, oh. So now, unfortunately, because he is doing a job, he doesn't protect me. So I tell him to stop doing the job. And I think I can go into, uh, there's a menu I can go into here in a minute. I have to remember where it is. Uh, but I can actually tell him to stop doing the job that he's doing and start protecting me. Uh, which is, which would be helpful because um, I, I need, I need, protection still trying trying to learn the game here uh but you have up to three guys so this guy just search for rock until broken this is search for stone pick up stone and then pass it to me um we can have them so and then here and we'll get going here in a second we'll get enough stuff going we'll start getting a uh, automation thing set up All right, let's get that going. We just we just need some trees. I need some bug parts too. He chops things down a lot more because he doesn't have stamina. I right, stop him again. All right, so we'll do this guy here. There's all these guys filled in. That make that makes me better. I'll do this. They should be used in just rocks. Alright, so that stuff is all there now. Alright, so uh something you're gonna need while you're running around is you're gonna need bug parts and you'll see them those shinies over there. Those are what we need. Um, you can swim in the water, uh, but you use your stamina really fast when you do that. Uh, you can see my stamina drops down. And as soon as you run out of stamina, you start taking damage. Uh, you can uh, eat things, and that will give you more stamina. Uh, but it still goes down fairly quickly. Uh, so it's just something to be aware of. So you want to run around, and as you find things here, you do want to pick up these bug parts. Uh, cause that's your, it's kind of your currency in the game and it allows you to kind of, uh, pick up things and, and, or, uh, buy extra helpers for your base. And for what I want to do here in the beginning, I need, uh, like three helpers kind of, um, at least, at least two. I can start doing what I want to do with two, but I, I really need three. Let's see. So this is a, a chest that has stuff in it. Uh, and then shift and left click and we can pick all that stuff up. Like I said, more bug parts. Bug parts. Bug fragments. Bore fragments. Come here. Thank you. Do do. You can pick up mushrooms. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff. So it's a, a normal survival crafter game. Uh, you can get your friends in here. Uh, I don't know the limit of how many friends you can have in the game with you. I just know that you can have your friends join you. Um, I know it is definitely at least one. Uh, I know it's one because me and Pete played for a while. Uh, so just at least to test it out to make sure it, it functioned and worked. That's that's a good thing. That's some some information people want is whether or not the multiplayer works in the game. Do, 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 do. Uh, but it is shared. I will say that the uh, the project manager stuff over there. Okay, just go away. I'm done talking to you. Uh, is it kind of gets wonky because uh, when Pete joined the game, it basically wanted him to go through all that stuff also, um, and it uh, kind of got lost because like. It wanted him to build a, a city center also, but I'd already built it and we only got one city center, so it made it really complicated. 
All right, and we can hit our map, and then that shows us where our base is. Let's see. Another tree seed. Those, those things are helpful. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here. I'm going to do my little build guy here. I'm going to build me a single container. You can rotate these around if you want. Right? So a single container basically only allows you to put one item in it. Uh, so as soon as you do that, that entire container is locked. So you can only put seeds in that. And then I'm going to put another one down here. Another single container here. Except for... Oh, I'm out of wood. Okay, that makes sense. All right. So now I'm going to go talk to this guy here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to look at plant. I'm going to load this one. And when you load it, it says select garden to seed. So I'm going to left click. I'm going to select garden one. Right? I'm going to decide that. And it says select seed to be planted. Um, I want to select tree seed. I'm going to decide that. And it's a container that holds tree seeds. Right? I'm going to take this. I'm going to drag it over. I'm going to select the container I just put with seeds in it. And I'm going to decide. I'm going to hit OK. Now, what this guy's going to do is he's going to loop this entire thing. He's going to go try one near garden one, pick up tree seed. So he's going to go look in garden one to see if there's a tree seed. If there is, he's going to pick that up. If it fails, he's going to go to the container and he's going to pick up a seed from there. Okay. And he's going to go try plant seed in garden one. And if it fails, he's going to put that uh, seed back in the container. Oh, oh, I forgot to tell him to go. Uh, go. All right. And off he goes. So now he's going to go down here. And he's going to go grab a seed from it, from the container because he didn't find one out here. And then he's going to start putting it in. And then he's just going to start planting things. Now, what we're going to do is... Oh, my, my red berries are, are wearing off. Um, let's see. Hit the G key again. Let's turn this guy back on. Let him chop down trees some more. So... The, uh, so what will end up happening is uh, we're going to get a guy to cut down trees in a second. Uh, but we need to get another... Uh, I need to get another box built so that I have a place for him to put said trees. Because we need lumber. Come on. That should be enough once you get that done. All right, you can stop doing that. So the game, from what I've seen, it's, it definitely has a lot of stuff. The programming and, and stuff like that, uh, that is going to be kind of what you make of it uh, and how far you want to go with it. So if I'm going to put another single guy here, so I want to put that box there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. And then I'm going to open this. I'm going to summon another guy. And another guy. All right. Now look at that. All right. So I'm going to pick this guy up. And then I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go uh, cut and plant wood. And these are some that are already kind of pre-made. You can make custom ones. I haven't made a custom one yet. Um, but if I do this, I can say uh, cut and plant wood. So I'm going to load that. Uh, select where trees are grown. So garden one, okay. And as you add to this garden, it will it will auto because it's already garden one. So it will just keep adding to it. Uh, so we'll decide that container to hold wood, and we want to put wood into that guy. And then we're gonna hit OK. So now he oh we didn't tell him to go. I always forget to tell him to go. All right, so he's gonna say tree not found, right? So there's no trees here. So since there's no trees here, he's upset about the whole situation. And he's just gonna sit there and pout about it, uh, which is which is probably probably acceptable. So we'll throw another couple of seeds in there for him. We'll go over here and see if we can find some more seeds while we're waiting. Do, 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 do. Another seed. So pretty much you get one seed from every tree that you cut down. So the uh, the farming the tree farm will be sustainable uh, once you actually get it up. I guess I should have went through what that guy's going to do in a minute. 
So we'll chop these trees down real quick. So there's a lot of tree chopping down, in the, at least in the beginning. Trying to get things started. So uh, once once they, they're kind of running, we'll be we'll be better off. But you don't want a piece of me, boar. Nope. Yeah, I'd run away too. There you go. All right, back to the trees. All right, so we got those. Oh, that one's lost forever. All right, let me hit, uh, let's turn this guy back off. All right, so you'll see the trees are starting to grow now, so that's good. Now, if we go back over here and look at our tree nut found. Yeah, uh, so if you look at the, this guy, I blow this guy up. So uh, he's going to go when play loop, cut tree. So he's going to go to garden one, he's going to cut a tree down. Then he's going to try... Uh, and he, he loops this near garden one, pick up wood. So if there's wood, once he's into this loop, he's going to try to do that, right? Single container. If that fails, having put item on the ground. So basically he's saying that if you can't put it in the container, just throw it on the ground. Um, so, and it'll be fine. And then he goes back and tries to cut down a tree again. So, and he will loop. And now that will be his life forever. So we'll send that guy in there too. There you go. There's more items for you, buddy. So we'll eventually get that stuff going. We need to get a campfire because if not, the night is dark and full of terrors and they will try to terrorize us. So we'll go ahead and put that down. And that gives us a little bit of light, makes our life a little bit easier. And then we can register as a respawn point. We can actually take a rest if we want to. Oh, we can sleep through the night. All right, I'm fine with that. Nobody wanted to be up during the night anyway. Now, with that, we can also, if I have enough, so I can put this down. So I have this guy here. I can place this down. I can't make another one. All right, makes sense, right? And then if I go in here, now this is where it gets a little weird. Um, if, like this is a wood narrow. So if I start, if I hit E right now, I'm going to put wood in there and then I get caught in this loop where I have to make the wood narrow and I have to take the wood narrow out before I can do anything else with it. If I hit F to open my crafting menu right now, I can open and make bark or I can make planks. So I'm telling, I want to make planks. Close out of this. And then if I had another box, can I make another box? I can. And then I put a box over here like this, right? That I can go to this guy down here and I can tell him to craft recipe. So I can load that uh, family to craft, right? So I basically choose this thing here, processing table, decide container holding wood. And then I go here for container holding wood and container hold plank there and decide and hit okay. Now, he doesn't have any wood, so he's going to be mad in a minute, too. Oh, what? Well, he's going to be mad once the time to do things. So he's going to run over here. And he's going to try to go into this wood, and then he's going to be mad because there's there's no wood in there. Uh, yeah, he failed because he, he sucks at life, and he doesn't have any wood. Uh, so we're still waiting for this guy to kind of figure out his life. Because trees take a little while to grow. But we can help by that and get him some more... Some more stuff. Now, here's the other thing, too. Like, uh, this guy's set up so that he searches for... He's going to search for a tree, and then he's going to search for a rock. He's going to search for a tree, then he's going to search for a rock. Um, and that way, it just kind of does both. And I can go to here, and I can help him. But he does so much better at it, I don't know why I would do it. And then he's going to go over here, he's going to be like, oh, here's a tree. And he's going to chop that down for me. And then he auto switches. You don't have to build weapons for him. You don't have to, our tools or anything like that. He does all that stuff for him. So this is another one of those games that I'm looking forward to see where it goes. Uh, because it, it it definitely has some some good bones. It has some stuff that, that I'm looking forward to kind of to seeing where it goes. Um, but as of right now, 
it's it's limited to the amount of stuff that's in the demo that is uh, that I'm able to pick up uh, and able to to work with. Uh, so as it gets further into the game and as more stuff comes out and hopefully the the devs are, are willing to allow me to keep taking a poke at it uh, I because I'm I'm interested in the game uh, I, I want to see where it goes I, I love factory builders and I love being able to do that all right no so now my little tomahawk guy hatcher guy is going to be going so now what happens is he doesn't have a seed in the box right so he'll eventually cycle through and he'll find a seed in the oh my my yeah so now he found a seed laying there now my buddy because he's looking for trees those are trees so he's gonna go to town and just go go nuts uh now the other guy because he's caught in a loop right now where he's picking up logs off the ground isn't going to chop down any trees <laughs> because he's picking them up off the ground so um you can kind of help a little bit and do that now once those guys are going now you'll see that guy over there is going to take off and he's going to start building those for me and you're starting to see the the, the village kind of get put together where you can you can start doing this and then we'll be able to, at some point to be able to start doing other things uh we'll be able to uh pick up a lot of, of crazy stuff uh and then he will eventually we need like three more seeds in there We go over here too close to start picking things up is what's going to happen so he'll eventually get all those things planted for me i'll turn this guy off all right get 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 over here let, let that guy do his work all right so now you'll see this guy is going to have more more of those kind of put in there um and and it will start to build up and you know now we have planks building and we'll need planks to be able to do other things uh like we need uh, to make the multi chest, we need planks, uh, you know, to be able to level ground up or down, uh, unevenness, right? A uh, simple pot, which will allow us to make food and things. So if we do a simple pot, like over here, right? And then if we open this craft menu, we have like steak made by cooking meat, uh, grilled mushrooms, and then we also have berry jam. So that way you can kind of make stuff better. Uh, max hit points plus eight, right? Defense stack number twenty. Uh, so you, you can you can basically upgrade food, and if you need it to, you just set stuff here and set up a berry farm or something like that. So that that way it's all automated, and you don't have to do all this stuff. Uh, it, so that's ultimately the thing. It's about automating with these the little guys here. Uh, and then the name of your buddy, you can do all that, the character design, all that stuff. You can do that on your way in also. So the game has a lot of promise to it. Um, I just waiting to see. Yeah, so he's got basically everything's planted now. And he's still trying to <laughs> He's poor, poor little guy. Oh, poor little guy. Um, and then... Once you get into there, then you have like the, the, there's a boss location down over here someplace. You can go run down over there. So there's a boss that you can go fight. Uh, you have to get some, uh, some items for it and things like that, uh, to be able to open the boss location. Uh, I haven't, I haven't gotten that far into the game yet. Uh, mostly cause, uh, I, I've been, I've <laughs> been lost. I've been lost in another game. Um, but I wanted to come give this one at least a fair shake and at least at least uh, give a, a look to it and make sure that uh, since, since the uh, the devs did reach out and, and send me the information to be able to look at it, uh, I wanted to make sure to uh, to give them a fair shake because as, as indie developers go, I, I, I enjoy helping indie developers out, um, especially with crafting and building games and stuff like that. So uh, it... I, I don't know. I always I always love crafting. I always love automation. Uh, I I love doing a lot of work to build a base and then setting back and watch the base work. Um, I, I the return on my investment to me is just it just makes me happy. Um, okay, suck it. Leave me alone. Yeah, see this is what happens. All right, a little bit of that. I'll eventually get some armor. That'll be helpful. So then. 
this is like the little base guy for that so that we can see what's, what's going on here. Uh, and then if I run up here and I go hit that, you need two special items, right? And then it's going to mark an item on the, the map for me. And then I have to go in there and basically fight my way up uh, to do that. Now, as of right now, um, I haven't really found any other items in the game. Uh, like more buildings, more more ways to make things more complicated or uh, stronger. Um, so what I'm going to do is probably today I'm going to play a little bit. I'm going to try to get a little bit further into the game uh, and uh, build a better a better factory. Not a fact, well, not a factory, but uh, build a better um, uh, base and just see if we can get... Yeah, so there's there's another one of the another structure uh and there's there's big bads in there uh the last time i ran it there i had to go get my body <laughs> it they didn't like me they, they were they were very upset with my shenanigans uh and and to be expected so more bug parts uh you want to make sure like i said uh with a lot of the stuff in here you want to grab that that because you need those to be able to get the little the uh I, I don't even know what these things are called i keep trying to call them things but that's from other games let's see if i can make it across the water before i die uh, yep yeah and then it wants me to take things apart and take them down and i don't want to take them down so is that bad boy And then enemies at night get get angry. We knew that part that though, because in order to like even build the for each recipe, um, and that is another thing too. Like so, here's the berries. Uh, but for each recipe that I need here, I need basically one guy. Now you can uh, give them multiple things to do. Um, because they have they have three screens here, but you have to choose that screen to hit play. If I hit play on this one, then I can't change to another one. So they only run one at a time. Um, so if we go down here, and then that's another issue is that in order for me to really do Even another, um, oh, I need more wood. Uh, even for me to run more, um, like another, just for food, I would need three more guys. Uh, so it does get very costly very quickly. Uh, so, and just trying to get enough bug parts to be able to do some of this stuff is difficult. Let's see. Let's do that. Do that. So eventually what I'll be able to do is be able to put down another seed planter so that we can... But I think I need to do another... I need to do... You go. Chop down trees. And I don't know if I can plant on my own or if I need them to, to help me. So if I do this, I need to put down a chest here. But I don't know what I need to do to be able to plant like berries. So open as editor, we're going to say plant so we're going to load that select recipe uh so here uh so please select so we're going to select garden two decide that what to be planted cabbage seed carrot seed the problem is is we don't have carrots or cabbage seeds um or carrot seeds so we'll decide that uh but i don't have a carrot seed yet so i can't this isn't going to work very well Uh, yeah, I don't have any carrot seeds. 
So he's going to be very angry because he doesn't have anything to do. Uh, so it's going to be one of those things where it's just going to take me a while to get it figured out. Uh, but so far, this is kind of the first look at Planet Crafter, uh, at least with the demo that's out right now. Uh, and I assume... Um, God damn it, Planet Crafter. It's not Planet Crafter. It's Omega Crafter. I am so sorry. Uh, so uh, first look at Omega Crafter. Uh, and uh, it, it is a... It's a cool idea of a game so far, at least for the demo, uh, and we'll continue to look at it and uh, see what comes out next. So, if uh, as always, if y'all like these, like this, like this type of gameplay, stuff like that, please throw a like in the video. Uh, if you have a question or comment or concern, please leave that down below. Uh, and if you want to see more of this or any of the other stuff that we're playing, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see y'all next time.